We're going to start this research project by using a Google Doc. And we're going to go through the process of using Google Docs, Google Slides. We're going to use QuickTime and we're going to use YouTube and YouTube Creator. So let's go to New and create a Google Doc. So the first thing we want to do is give this an appropriate title. So the title of our Google Doc is... So there's our title. Now what we want to do, we want to title this by using the styles and then clicking title. And we also want to give it a name. Now if we click in the document title, it will automatically insert that title. Rivers around the world. And I suggest you also put your name inside. Now we're going to go to the next line. So I want to insert a table now. So we go up to table and we choose insert table. I want to insert a table of three columns and two rows. If you want to insert more in a Google document, you can actually expand it by going further along like this. But for the purpose of this, we just want three columns and two rows. So there's my table. So let's now add some titles to this table. Now we're doing rivers around the world. For this particular research project, we're going to look at three different rivers. But if you've got students doing this on their own, you can differentiate by doing maybe one river, using one column, or you can go up to six columns and using six rivers. Alternatively, what you may want to do is get them to collaborate on this document. So in this case, you'll have a team of three and each student will take their own column. So what you would need to do, you would need to go up to share and share this with the students in your team. So you'd enter the names of the students here and share them within your team and edit. Then each student will take a column. I'm going to do this on my own because I'm working on my own for this particular project. So we're going to choose three rivers. We're going to use the, the Nile, the Amazon, and the Thames. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to make it bold. I'm going to centralize it. And I also, what I want to do is format the cells. To do that, I can right click once I've selected the cells I want to format. Right click, go down to table properties, and then change the table properties to what I want. So in this case, we want the cell background to be a different color. So I'm going to change it to a orange color and then click OK. So now I've changed that cell color. So the next thing we want to do is we want to start populating these tables. If we are working collaboratively, you would be filling out your column. But I'm going to do this on my own. So what I'm going to do now is use the research tool to start researching the different elements of the Nile, Amazon and the Thames. So let's look at tools and we open up the research tool. So now what I want to do is search for the Nile. Okay, that's given me some information about the Nile and we can go down here and we can see some information here. What we want to do now is put the facts of each of these rivers. So in here, It's given the length in miles, so what I want to do now is convert that into kilometers. So let's open up a new tab in Google, and let's type in here, miles to kilometers. Now that's given me a conversion table here, so let's put 4,000, 4,258, and we can see there it's 6,852.587 kilometers. So let's copy that and paste that in there. Now, if you use Shift, Command, and V to paste, it will take the format that you've got at that time in your document. So let's find another fact. We can see here, these are the countries that the Nile is going through. So we could add these, some of these countries. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add some more information on this document and complete it, and then we'll come back to the next stage. Okay, so there's our information about the different rivers around the world. I want to use the research tool to insert some images. So let's do that. So I've got the River Thames here. So let's go to images. And we can filter by free to use. And then let's now look for a river, a picture of the Thames. So there's a nice picture. So I'm going to 
insert that into that cell there. And you can do that by dragging it. And as you can see, it's put a little one there. It cited that picture. And if we scroll to the bottom, we can see the citation there of that location where that image is taken. So now let's take, let's, let's find a little bit more information. Uh, we can do the same for the Amazon uh, and the Nile, but I'm gonna just do the Thames again. Let's look, look at the mouth of the River Thames. So let's look at an image of the mouth. There's an image and we can place that inside this cell as well. And there we go, we're starting to build our images within there. If we want to do the length, we could put a map in there as well. So let's take this map and then put this into the length. We're slowly building our references to these images here because the research tool does that for you. Okay, so there is our research. We've put some images in, we've put some facts, and now we need to move on to the next stage of the project.